So <laughs> my professional name is you, Jonathan Tapo. Everybody calls me by my last name. And I'm the resident fight director at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And right now I'm working on Hamlet. It's a fabulous cast. The cast is lovely uh, from top to bottom. Danforth is playing Hamlet. Danforth Comins. Tremell is playing Laertes. Uh, Lisa Peterson is directing it. It is the, one of the famous fights in, in Shakespeare. Obviously it is the moment where Hamlet puts everything together, uh, ends up killing the king. Uh, he gets poisoned, dies at the end. Actually, everybody pretty much dies except for Horatio <laughs> at the end. Isn't that amazing? Now, I'll give you some context. With this particular fight, what's great is that it starts off with a structure of this fencing match and then totally breaks down to chaos all over the stage, things being thrown, uh, people getting hit, people getting thrown to the ground, someone getting stabbed, someone having wine poured down their gullet. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Yep, yep. This is my first time doing rapier and dagger, so it's a lot of a lot of training for me, which is fun, and I appreciate Topo and Josh and Danforth. I'm learning a lot. It's great. I've never seen anyone pick up sword fighting so quickly. Now I'm behind and I have to catch up to him. So <laughs> it's all good. And, and that all happens in five two, as it were, Act Act five, scene two, and so it starts off with the duel between Laertes and Hamlet, and <clears throat> from Hamlet's point of view. It's just a, a fun duel, and they're just going to, it's like, a, it's a fencing match. And whoever gets the best of three hits wins, wins the match, wins a pearl. Unbeknownst to him, how often do you get to say benounced, is um, that Laertes and the king have a, uh, have a little um, subterfuge going on where Laertes has poison on the end of his sword, and his sword is sharpened, and he cuts Hamlet. The king also has a backup plan to put poison in a cup, which the queen accidentally drinks or not. So she dies. Hamlet gets cut. He's poisoned. Then he gets the sword from Laertes, and then he kills Laertes with the sword or stabs him. And then Laertes dies of the poison. Then Laertes rats the king out, so then Hamlet finally uh, is able to um, avenge his father's death and kills Claudius. So that's kind of that in a nutshell. The trick is, for me, is Hamlet has different intention than Laertes does in the fight. Laertes actually wants to cut him. Hamlet just wants to play and play this, this, this fencing match. Um, and so it's two different styles. And in our production, we, do, we start off with single rapier, and then we, for the third round, we go to rapier and dagger, which is a lot of fun, and I, I like choreographing that. You know, Tapo's a wonderful choreographer to work with because he's, uh, he's organic and he has ideas that he comes into, the, into the, the game with, but is very open and willing and actually excited about the ideas that the actors bring to the process. And I think that's partly because he's an actor as well and, and a fine artist all around and, and knows that collaboration is what this art form is about. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. And the two guys are doing really, really well. Um, really good fighters and uh, that's always fun and they have great ideas. So I think it's going to be a very, very exciting production.